Hi there, it's Kaya from Catch Your Crafts and today I will show you this love card and a technique of messy watercoloring with distress oxide. I will start out by watercoloring this whole paper and I will tape it down on my board just to make sure that there is no warping because it's easier to work with a paper that is straight and not warped. I will put down two colors of Distress ink on my handmade palette. This is actually just a packaging of one of the Honeybee stamps. And then first thing that I will do is that I will cover the whole paper with water. And you don't want to make it too watery or too dry. You just want to make sure that you have enough water that the ink will flow. And what I mean by ink flowing is that you can see here that when I put it down it starts moving with water. I will go back and forward between these two colors and I will just mix and match and add them here and there and the water will do its work. You can see that distress oxides are actually really beautiful when you use them with water so just don't be scared and try the techniques with them. So right now I will heat up my paper and this is just my first layer. I felt like this is not bold enough that's why I will go ahead and do this process once again. I will again wet the paper and then I will put on some more colors of Distress ink. I will be using the same two colors as before. I will just randomly spread them around and I always go with the flow. I don't really want to think it too much because if you start thinking too much then you won't be able to create anything. Here we just want to have fun and you have to know that this will only be a piece of your flower so it doesn't have to be perfect. To add some more details here in the background I will use the dark distress oxide and I will make some splotters. This will just help to bring our eye to the focal point. Then I cut the paper in half to get it in my mini misty and then I will just stamp it in black ink. I will be using the Versafine Onyx black ink because it's super dark black and I love how it looks on watercolors. You want to use the ink that will actually be able to cover Distress Oxide because you know that oxides are quite unique. Then I will move on and make another panel. This time I will use greens because we also need to make our leaves. So I will use two colors of green and I will do the exact same process. So first I will water down the paper, again not too wet, not too dry and it's hard to explain it over the video but what I mean by not too wet is that you just wet it just enough that you can see that it's covered in water but water isn't staying all over the paper. So I will just spread it around and again I will do exactly the same as earlier. I will now heat it up in between and you can see that once it's heated up it gets a bit lighter in color. So I will just make sure that I will go back in again and put some more of the dark color there because I want to make sure that we have the dark and the light color present in our leaves. So this is the finished result and I will again make some splatters so we will have that some extra detail on the leaves. Then I will go ahead and fussy cut the flowers out. You could use the coordinating dies, I have them, but here I just want to make sure that I actually have the pink only on the flowers and this means that I had to go in and fussy cut it. This is the, actually the only time-consuming part of this card, but it's totally worth it. For this small flower, I will fussy cut it as I normally would, and then we will add a green over the bottom because it's green there, and I will show you that later. 
other flowers are only the blooms so it doesn't have any green color but for this one the green is at the bottom so we will see me stem this flower with the green bottom here again and then we will fussy cut this out and put it on the pink part I will stamp out a bunch of leaves I stamped too many <laughs> but better to have too many than too little and I will do the same process once again if you don't like the fussy cutting itself again you could use the coordinating dies but I just feel that fussy cutting images that have uh, in our example green or pink edge are just more unique and you are able to see them better if you actually fussy cut them. You can see here that I will actually trim everything down, even the stem, and that's because I know that my leaves will go behind the flowers and you won't be able to see the missing stem. And here is the flower I told you about earlier. I will fussy cut just the bottom three pieces. And what I mean by this is the stem and two leaves. At least I think they are leaves, so that's why I will have them in green. I will fussy cut it out and this is the beauty of fussy cutting. We are actually mixing and matching different colors and different images. This could actually also be called paper piecing because we are using different papers and piecing them together. So I will go ahead and I will cut the stem down from this pink flower because we don't really need it and it's just a small piece that will be annoying to glue down to the green one. So I will just use the liquid glue and put the green piece over the top. So this is how our flower will look like and I will do the same for the other one. So the bottom three things will be in green and everything else will be in pink. Then I will go ahead and start gluing everything together. You may call me crazy, but I will just go ahead. I won't really think much about it. I won't even put it down and then glue them together. I will just go ahead and start gluing. I know that I have enough images to do so, so I will just go ahead and glue it. If I would have only a certain number of images, I probably wouldn't do this, but because I know that I have a lot of leaves, that I have a lot of flowers, I will just go ahead and glue everything together. I know that I want to have this as a triangle shape that will be put into the corner of the square. So you will see me make this kind of triangular shape. So I am just using liquid glue, I am moving the leaves around, I am moving the flowers around and this is actually my like thinking process. If I like it I will just glue it down. Uh, I usually do plan ahead but as said because I have so many leaves and so many flowers I just went ahead. In the end I will use five flowers and I like to use odd numbers of things because I think that it really brings the images to life. I don't know, it may be just me, but for me odd numbers of images work perfectly. So I will just finish this off and then before gluing this down to the card base I will also make a frame on my card base. So I have my square card base here and I will use the ruler and a black pen to do a little line around every edge. So you can see that this will give it a nice effect of dimension and I thought that something was missing and when I think something is missing I usually go with splatters and this time was no different. So I will just use the green distress oxide that we use for the leaves and I'll just go ahead and sprinkle it on my card base. I will try to position the flower when I want it to be and I will just go ahead and sprinkle some more until I'm happy with the amount I have. So as said, this is something that I do. You don't have to do it if you don't feel comfortable with splatters, but I just love them. 
So I will put down the sentiment I love you now and I am using my mini misty. I wanted to have a curved sentiment and I will just go ahead and curve the edges on my misty and this is really an easy thing to do. You just put the stamp down flat and then curve the edges and that's it. It's this easy. This you can do with any single clear stamp. So then I will pop this flower bouquet up and I will put it on the left hand side of our card base. And this actually finish of this card. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope that you will try to make a card with this messy water coloring because the flowers and leaves are super easy to make this way and the effect is beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me and hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye!